Good morning, everybody. So my voice is really raspy right now because it's really early in the morning. It is 3.50 in the morning right now and I am up because I am in my athletic wear about to go on a run. This is gonna be a significant one because I'm going to try to do, no, not try. I am going to do, and I must do, um, a half marathon, which is 21.1 kilometers. And I really wanted to do this because it's significant on multiple levels. Um, one, I sort of just set this random goal uh, just like a few weeks ago to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this by the end of the year. Because um, if you guys had watched my recent video, you would know that the past few months have been a little bit rough for me, a lot of changes. And so running actually became one of my uh, healthy coping me mechanisms, you know, through my breakup and everything. And so I, you know, whenever I was sad, frustrated, angry, stressed, I would always just go force myself to go run and I always would feel really good afterwards. So I really started enjoying running. And so um, the furthest I've ever done was 16 kilometers and I really struggled through that near the end. So today doing 21 kilometers around that um, is going to be quite interesting, but I'm hoping that the adrenaline and the fact that I woke up early and I don't want that to go to waste will drive me through the last few kilometers. Um, but I am actually about to head out. Um, I've got, you know, my running gear already. I put my hair in my favorite French braid um, because it keeps everything in place. So I'm about to head out and take a cab all the way close to the Singapore Changi Airport, which is in the east. And then I'm just gonna run all the way towards the city. I'm actually starting this run with maybe, I think two or three people. These are the folks that I, um, when I first, first started running two years ago when I moved to Singapore, but they're doing the first 10 kilometers then turning back. I wanted to just keep going because it was just sort of significant to me. I was like, you know, it follows the narrative in my head you know just keep going forward onwards and upwards um, and so I am going to go all the way from the east and run towards the city and literally just keep going until I hit the 21.1 kilometer mark um, and so yeah I'm really excited uh, a little bit nervous to be honest but I really really want to be able to do this so anyway keep you guys posted I'm gonna head out So it is still raining a little bit right now, but we're hitting 5 a.m. So we're going to get started soon. And I am so nervous. My friend Keith is actually holding my phone right now. And he witnessed my entire running journey since I think almost two years ago now. I could barely do two kilometers back then without getting stitches and having to walk. So this is a very significant moment in our friendship. <laughs> it is. It's a huge um, milestone for you. So. Yeah, it's a huge milestone. Um, but I really hope that the clouds just blow over and it stops raining and it stays that way. That'd be like, mwah, the best. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. All right. Okay. Starting the run, there is a massive plane arriving in Changi Airport. Oh, right by the water. Oh my gosh. Just hit 10K. Um, sky's starting to get a little brighter. You can't really tell on camera. But uh, you can have, you can see a beautiful view of MBS. Oh God, I don't want to stop. So there's a Ferris wheel, MBS, running towards the city now. Let's get this. So far, this has actually been really okay. I'm not dying, but I'm gonna get back to running. Just past the halfway mark. <sighs> Everyone else is turning back, but I'm gonna keep going. So let's hope I have the resistance or resilience to do this. <laughs> oh. All right, as you can tell, it's a lot brighter. Sun is coming up. It's a lot brighter now. Um, I refuse to stop unless I'm utterly dying. So, uh, but I really want to show you guys this view. Look at this. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna slow jog, but. Uh. And then sun is rising over there. Uh -huh. Yay. We are at 15 kilometers now. Just six kilometers left. I am now in front of Marina Bay Sands, the mall, and then got running towards the city now. 
<laughs> I'm really starting to feel it, but let's hang in there. Okay, back to running. <laughs> I caved, I went to go buy a drink, but I'm gonna stop for 10 seconds and then drink and then keep going. And then all the way to the end. I think I'm at 17 almost kilometers. <sighs> Sweat is coming down real hard. <laughs> Lots of people awake now. Hey everyone, so I just hit the 19 kilometer mark and um, over there, just now, at, like right under the bridge, I was running and I got the worst, worst muscle cramp in my left calf, like right here. And I literally just collapsed and I was in fetal position, crying on the floor. I've gotten muscle cramps before, um, like during swim competitions and all that, and I would literally just sink to the bottom of the pool because muscle cramps are probably one of the most painful things to me, the ones in my calves. I'm in a really weird position because I'm like massaging my leg right now, but I was on the floor and then so many people stopped to help and this couple literally did not hesitate to just help me hold on to my leg. Afterwards, so many people came to see if they could help and then an old man didn't hesitate at all literally just helped me take off my shoe for blood circulation and then he was helping me stretch my calves out and telling me to breathe in breathe out even now like i can feel post muscle cramp my legs are always like done um i can feel that it's still sort of tensed up so i i'm a little bit worried that another muscle cramp's gonna come and i can feel in my right calves that things are a little bit shaky as well but i'm at the 19 kilometer mark and i refuse to give up now so whether it's you know slowly getting back into a slow jog, which I don't even know if I can do because I can barely walk, I'm limping, but I don't freaking care, man. Like, I don't care if I need to do a speed walk, walk, if I need to freaking like crawl my way to the finish line. I'm gonna, you bet your ass I'm gonna do that. I'm not going home until I hit 21.1 kilometers. I'm quite bummed out because I was mentally really ready to just like hammer in the last few kilometers, but I'm gonna still do it anyway. Um, I'm just going to, just take it easy and as long as I hit the finish line that was my goal for today so let's keep going <laughs> probably shouldn't try to run but I'm gonna try to run a little bit um, and then if it really hurts or I'm about to get a lot of muscle cramp then I'll stop started limping slash jogging again because ran into my weekly Sunday crew friends hello <laughs> there's a few more of them or like two more of them behind we're at 20 point seven kilometers now and I am insisting on jogging the last few so we ain't quitters here keep going even though I am I'm definitely like limping and jogging last 100 meters I'm just gonna turn the corner here <laughs> oh man that was really rough I my all my, everything in my leg hurts right now. Okay. Oh man, I feel really happy. Alright, post run feast. I'm so hungry. Waking up at like three something and haven't really had proper food. Like I had gummies and, and random stuff. Um, so I am rewarding myself. I'm I'm limping my way to my favorite coffee shop, Wakey Wakey. You guys would have seen it in a previous video before I am going to inhale my food <laughs> uh, my post run meal <laughs> is a sourdough toast spinach scrambled eggs and this like pork sausage um, I am seriously gonna just dig in I absolutely inhaled this plate. I am really feeling a huge wave of fatigue right now. I think I really need to just go home, take a shower, and then probably take a nap for a few hours. And then the rest of the day is actually quite packed. Uh, I've actually got a work meeting at 4 p.m. I know it's a Saturday, but it's a really important meeting. So I've got a work meeting at 4. <clears throat> so I need to um, prep and actually get some stuff done. For probably like an hour or two so this nap is gonna do me a lot of good um and i think i might just have a really wholesome afternoon like work meeting read a book burn a candle relax i actually really wanted to do a massage this afternoon but my usual massage place is 
um, and available. They don't have slots, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow instead. I'm probably just gonna do some stretching for my calves, which um, it's still hurting a lot. <laughs> um, so okay guys, I look really tired right now because since last time we spoke, I was supposed to go home, shower, take a nap, get ready for my meeting, have a meeting. In the end, I spontaneously met up with a friend and we got drinks and basically between the two of us finished a bottle of wine. So I am half a bottle of wine in, rushed home, prepped for a meeting, just finished my meeting and killed the meeting. Kill me. But I am obviously still in my disgusting, like sweaty gym attire. And it was really funny because um, I was having a meeting with my boss basically and uh, I was explaining that I did a half marathon. <laughs> so now I really need to shower. I'm feeling this. Exhausting. I'm so sweaty. I'm gonna shower and then quickly get ready for my dinner plans. Um, but I feel like, you know, the meeting went so well and then the run went well um, for the most part. So I feel like I'm just, I have these constant high energy points. I feel so excited and then I feel a little bit like crashing, but then I get excited again and then something goes well and then I'm crashing again now. So I really just, I'm gonna knock out tonight. I already know it, but. But for now, I am just going to shower and get ready for dinner. Yay! All right, I am out in public again. My hair is still actually a little bit wet because I showered and got ready really quickly, but I am now um, actually back in a very similar area as Wakey Wakey. This is like Haji Lane area, Arab Street, um, for drinks with my friend and then meeting him with two other friends for dinner. Um, and I just need to walk through the restaurant now, but I everything. Everything weighs down hurts. Literally like, not even just my muscles. Of course my calves hurt, my quads, my hamstrings, but what actually hurts a lot are my knees, which I shouldn't be surprised since I went running, but um, it feels like it's bruised on the outside. So it's not even just behind the kneecap, there's some pain. So uh, that's not really fun. This is seriously such a struggle right now. I am in so much pain each step I walk. Oh, we are at Haji Lane. This, haven't been to Haji Lane in a while. It was kind of dead for a while during COVID, but it seems like restaurants are opening back up, which is really nice to see actually. All right, where are we going? Say hi. hi. Hello, heading to dinner. This is my lovely date. <laughs> Fabulous! Hello! Hi. This is such a cute restaurant. We're on the second floor of this place called Flying Monkey. Look at her, work her magic. Hello! Goodness! Look at this gin and tonic list, this entire, entire menu. <laughs> Holy crap! And they have cocktails. Oh. We know what excites her. <laughs> We've got a pro ordering food for us. We're getting recommendations from the pro. And this one, Cairo. from dinner and as you can tell by just the lower energy and I'm not screaming and being as excited it's because I am just so ready to knock out I've been awake and my contacts have been in my eyes since 3 
30 in the morning so I need to take them out but before I call it a night I really wanted to kind of say this um, for the record sort of thing today the run <sighs> I got really emotional at one point and it's not just because I was crying out of pain from my muscle cramp. Basically I feel like it might just be because these days I'm just so grateful for so many things that I'm just looking into it really deeply but I just feel like this run was super symbolic of just this year or like the journey that I have been on. I started the run with friends and the first you know half of the run, the first 10-11 kilometers was with other people and then they were turning back but I chose to go a different route. Um, that itself already feels like it's like an analogy to life but um, the first like 10 to 15 kilometers was actually really doable for me um, today it just felt really good and easy easy but um, you know when I got to I think closer to 15 kilometer mark the Sun was rising just as I got to the part of the the, the route that you can just see everything the water it was so beautiful and in that moment I just the air was so crisp, the weather turned out so nice after the rain and then it just felt like everything was just going so well and I teared up because I was just like, it just feels like a new beginning with the sun rising, the start of the day, start of you know a new chapter of my life and then I kept going and then obviously um, close to the end at like the, you know, with just two kilometers left, I got the really bad muscle cramp and I just collapsed on the floor and fell down and felt like crap and the fact that like strangers came and helped me how to back up literally in my real life you know i met friends back then who were obviously strangers at first who are who helped me through some of my most challenging times this year and then it just felt so nice and then the craziest thing of all was after my muscle cramp i was really just limping and walking for a kilometer then the last kilometer i was like i really wanted to run but i needed like you know just an extra push and i ran into my other weekly running crew guys and 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 the fact that i ran into them just during the last stretch of my half marathon was just so nice because they were like they saw that I was in pain so they ran really slowly just to be literally by my side obviously like running into friends such a coincidence the craziest thing is, I don't know if this is like the universe doing its thing or whatever but I started the run in the east in a place that I've never ran before that entire east coast route like near the airport and I just started it there and I told myself since I was doing a different route compared to everyone else I just told myself just keep your tracker on and just keep running until you hit 21.1 kilometers I didn't know where I would end up I only knew what direction I would want to go in and I ended up finishing the race exactly where I usually do my weekly the starting point of my weekly runs it's so funny how things pan out I ended up finishing, um, I had no idea it would finish at this point, but this is my weekly eight kilometer run starting point, literally at this point right here. And then I also ran into friends just when I was like limping my way through the last half a kilometer. Oh my God, it's just so crazy how things work out. Anyway, I am, maybe I'm just, you know, making a big deal out of nothing, but I just thought all that, so many coincidences and I just feel so happy because everything just worked out in the end. And you know what? That is this year. Everything worked out in the end for the better and I'm forever grateful for that. So anyway, this vlog is ending on a cheesy note, but I'm really, really tired. I really need to go put some Tiger Ball on my legs. I can't walk. I need to sleep and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching!